hello once again this is James again uh, today we are still continuing with setting up data types and field properties this time round we are going to look at currency formats within and outside axis for example we shall look at also the default currency when you go to back to our database uh, the columns in this case which are related to currency as a data type are fees paid or fees payable fees paid and maybe fees balance that's where we have the money figures now if you go back to view design view you notice that uh, the currency here is I mean the data type here is currency when fees paid is currency and also fees balance is currency when you go back to view data sheet view notice that when we input the figures for currency uh, automatically they were given a dollar sign as the default currency because this is an American system so um, the default currency set in within the program is the dollar supposing you wanted to alter this in within access and to show a different currency symbol simple you go back to view design view and right about here in format we see currency okay so if for example we wanted to choose the euro we'd say euro we save go back to view data sheet view and notice the euro sign will appear but supposing you wanted something which is not on the list here for example and supposing you wanted to maybe use the Uganda currency symbol so what we would do would open quotes still then we'll type U G X close quotes then we end by putting a hash sign okay this is what you do you put open quotes type the currency symbol close quotes and end with a hash sign let us save and you go back to view data sheet view notice that now the sign has changed from the dollar or the euro to the UGX currency symbol that is how we do it now supposing we wanted to set a default currency for the program how would we do that we want to set a default currency such that we don't have to fix in this the note which we have to put in co into consideration if you fix it in this way when you have to do computations in other parts of access for example in the queries much as you put the UGX or I whichever other currency symbol the moment you use it in a query it will automatically go back to the default currency which will be the dollar so supposing you don't want that to happen and you want this to be the base currency with which to work with so we can set it back still to general number which by default takes it back to uh, the basic currencyless symbol or currencyless figure so if we went back and we said currency we save go back to view data sheet view notice that our dollar comes back now supposing we want to change this default currency maybe to UGX like that the moment we choose currency as our data type it brings the UGX how do we do that that necessarily starts to go into the control panel of the system and this is how we do it so you'll have to trace for your control panel you open it up you go to clock language and region Okay, when you go to clock language and reason, you'll have to look out for this where it says change date, time, or number formats. You click around there, and you'll notice this regional dialog box which appears. You come and you go to advanced settings. On the advanced settings tab or the customized format tab, you'll see currency. On to currency you will see the list of the base currencies 
let us put our base currency we want. Uh, the base currency we want is UGX. Uh, we can put it in capital. UGX. And we apply and we say OK. We apply again and OK. So you can close this. And you come back to our program. Notice that it has already changed it to UGX. So the moment you set a base currency, if you go back to design view, this currency now will be UGX. It will be changed from the dollar to UGX. So that is how we set up a default currency if you don't want to use the dollar as your default currency in access. So that is how it is done. And that is the basis of how to set up customized currencies in case you didn't want to use what is inside the system. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.